Hi everyone, my name is Christina. It has already been a month since I moved to Vietnam, Da Nang city, from Thailand. So I have overall understanding of the cost of living here. So and in this video I'm going to share with you the average prices of apartments in Da Nang city and as well as the prices for restaurants, for food products and other expenses that we encounter. The Nan city is located on the coastline of the South China Sea, in the center of the region of Vietnam. It's a sizable and developed city that attracts many tourists due to its diverse range of landmarks. The city is divided into two parts by the Han River. The left side of the city is more vibrant, with particularly intense motorbike traffic. On the right side of the city, which is situated nearby Mai Khai Beach, there is a slightly calmer and cleaner area where we reside. Therefore, in this video I will discuss the prices of apartments located in this area. But before we get started, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, so you won't miss out on travel video ideas and inspiration. Thank you! When we arrived, we just used Google Maps to search for apartments, saved the locations and went there and to each rental apartment building that we passed by. Many of them were full. We spent almost the whole day walking around the area looking for an apartment. Some have a really good price, like this kind of apartment, but as you can see, it's a bit dark and empty. However, I think it's okay for someone who works somewhere and use the apartment just for sleeping. Since we work from homes and spend most of our time there, we want to find something more cozy and comfortable. But this apartment includes everything you need and even has a swimming pool on the roof. And it's not far from the beach. And the price for it just 4 million dons. It's about $170. The next one was more expensive. I like that it has big window and it's facing the seaside with the sun rising from that side. This means there would be sunlight in the room in the morning which I think it's important for someone who wakes up early. Additionally, it has a sauna, gym and swimming pool with a nice view. However, I didn't like that the room was a bit dirty and it cost 13 million, which is about $553. I believe there are better options available for this price. This one was also close to the mountains area, with a very simple room that includes everything you need for living. However, there is no swimming pool, it's just an apartment, and the windows faced other windows. The room on the fourth floor cost 5,500 million dons, while the one on the seventh floor cost 6,500 million dons, which is about 234 and 276 dollars. Rooms are same, but yes, the price depends on the floor level as well, with higher floor being more expensive. We like two apartments, one is closer to the center of Mai Khai Beach and the other is closer to the mountains, in calmer area. Both have a very cozy and lovely design, each has its own pros and cons. The first one is spacious, with two rooms and two bathrooms. It has kind of boho design, filled with natural light, giving it homely feeling. The apartment is fully equipped with kitchen utensils and there is also a gym. The owner was very friendly. The only drawback is that there is no swimming pool. And we were looking for one room apartment, but it was already occupied. Two bathrooms, right? Here we have a uh, The two rooms apartment cost $553 and one room apartment is $383. And the last one which we have chosen is this apartment. It has a cozy atmosphere and features kind of a key design, with everything made of wood. It's equipped with literally everything you need, including hand soap, shampoo, conditioner and even dish soap, that they replenish whenever it runs out. They also change the sponge, so you don't need to buy anything. The service is really nice. They clean the room every two days and wash your clothes. So I used to it very quickly, now I don't want any other kind of life. It's truly amazing, I love Vietnam for that. There is also a small gym, but the air conditioning doesn't work. Sometimes it's enough just to come in to lose your weight. Moreover, there is a swimming pool and sauna on the roof. The apartment is conveniently located close to the beach, just a 5 minutes walk away. 
and it's priced at only 10 million dons, which is $425. I think it's a reasonable price. We live on the second floor, while the price for a room on the seventh floor is $510. Just one drawback of our room is that the window faces the city side, so it's dark in the morning and it's really difficult to wake up. And yeah, the electricity is not included in the price and it's a bit expensive in Vietnam. We paid $60 for a month, but we use the air conditioner very often. So all together we paid $485 per month. The next fee that you have to pay as a foreigner is visa fee, if you want to stay here for more than 15 days. But specific requirements may depend on your home country. As a Russian citizen, we can stay here for 15 days without visa or apply for an e-visa for one month, which is cost $25. Now there is no option to apply for more than just one month. Maybe it will change later. So we have to do a border run, which means we have to leave Vietnam to other country and then come back. Therefore, we spent about $37 for visa per month. And the last essential expense is food. The prices in restaurants and cafes are very reasonable, suitable for every budget. So you can afford to eat out somewhere every day. If you don't like, you can cook your own meals. The vegetables and fruits in the markets are very cheap and there are so many options available. In supermarkets, they have almost everything you need. I can't say exactly how much we spent this month as I haven't kept track. But on average, we spent about $16 for two people in restaurants and around $25 in market for two big bags filled with fruits and vegetables, which can last us about 3-4 days. So these are all essential expenses for living in Vietnam. I didn't include entertainment expenses, which are also not expensive. You can check out my video where we went to an amusement park for only $8. For us, we spent almost the same amount of money here as we did in Thailand. Of course, it's possible to spend much less here, depends on individual needs. So I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and see you soon, bye bye!